Okay, my name is Una, I'm 21 years old, I come from Latvia, Lettland, and I study at the Minerva Art Academy. Minerva second, in Groningen? Yeah, yeah second uh -huh. year. Okay, and uh, you are one of the persons in Rai Exhibition Center in Amsterdam, Kunst Rai is the name. Yeah. Is it important for you to be in Amsterdam? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I was excited before, but when I came here, it's just like... <laughs> I can't even like express my emotions. It's a bit overwhelming, but in the best way possible, really. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. What kind of work did you <coughs> put here on the wall? Can we have a look at this one? Uh, yeah. And um, who is this? Is this a friend of you? Yeah, I always paint. Uh, I mostly paint from, from photographs. Either it's my photographs or it's the photographs from my family archive, like with the paintings that we're going to see later. But yeah, this is about a friend of mine. and. Uh, um, yeah, it's mostly about um, really feeling the sort of energy um, that he and I felt at the moment and um, yeah, kind of feeling the, the adrenaline as well and the intensity uh, of that moment, uh, which is also amplified by the use of very uh, bright colors and big contrast and uh, yeah. Okay. I think about the war next door of the country. Exactly, exactly. So this is Who my... Who are these? Um, this is my dad's brother and this is my response to uh, when Russia attacked Ukraine. And uh, then I started to paint a series of work, uh, works based on my uh, grandfather's pho photograph collection. And this is... Uh, so my grandfather's son and my dad's brother. And this is him when he was uh, approximately 11, playing with like a typical Soviet toy. And then this is when he was 18, when he was mobilized uh, forcibly into the Soviet army. And uh, yeah, and you can see how, like in both of these pictures, uh, the emotions kind of uh, change from being kind of uh, like having this like childish naiveness to um, when you're really uh, uh, kind of messed up and faced with uh, with a real gun yeah. instead of a toy one. That's why you want to bring this to the people? Yeah, because... Uh, I feel like most of these uh, works that I see here are rather decorative, whereas these have a certain story and message which is very relevant nowadays because the history of the Baltic states and countries occupied by the Soviet Union, it's very overlooked. And now when there is uh, the war, um, Russia attacked Ukraine, uh, I think it's very re relevant that the people who are occupied by uh, the Soviet Union, that they speak up and uh, they speak up about their stories and uh, yeah, just reach a wider audience um, yeah. outside the Baltic states. Yeah. And these were just one of... Um, so I started to sculpt a hand every single weekend because the studio for painting is closed. And then, so every weekend I just sculpt a hand. Now I've gone into sculpting feet. Um, but yeah, it's just sort of like experiments of mine. But for example, this one, it's the hand of my gra grandmother. And she has is been... She still alive? No, but she's been... Uh, she actually died like super recently. Uh -huh. uh, right after, I, like soon after I made the but sculpture. You took a copy of her hand? No, 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 no. These are all just like sculpted by... by with my hands, with okay, my own you hands. Say you related to your grandmother? Yes, because I, I took a pictures of the hand that I took for reference and she was a lifelong farmer and worker and so you can see the kind of rough, roughness and, and thickness of the hand and also like uh, the, the scars and uh, yeah. Yeah, so that was really yeah, important for me. And, uh, yeah. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Have a nice day in Amsterdam. Yeah.